Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking all about how to clean your cast iron pan when you're out camping. This was a common question on one of my recent cleaning videos, so I'll link to that in the description below. It's about how to clean your dishes at camp. But when you're dealing with cast iron, things are a little bit different because iron plus water plus very little bit of time equals rust. And we do not want our beautiful cast iron pans to rust. So I'm gonna show you how I clean my cast iron pan in this video. I have been saving this one because it is very, very dirty. There is sticky, uh, I made a dessert, so it's very sticky and it's dried on here. So this is a really good example of sort of an, the extremer end of the spectrum of what I would do for cleaning food that's sticky and stuck on my pan. Most of the time when I'm cooking simple things like pancakes, for example, I don't actually really officially clean the pan. I just maybe take a piece of paper towel and wipe out any excess oil and then I'm good to go. So there's a lot of times where I don't actually need to do a deeper clean, but this right here is a pretty good example of a time when I would need to do that. When you're cleaning your cast iron pan, you wanna make sure that you're not using any harsh chemical soaps or abrasive metal cleaners that could potentially scrape your seasoning off of your cast iron pan. So the seasoning is this dark, layer of carbonized oil and it gives your pan a non-stick quality and it also protects your pan from rust. So you can't use a cast iron pan unless it's been seasoned properly. Raw iron will just rust in seconds. And so the seasoning is this lovely dark layer that we want to make sure we preserve as we're cleaning. Lastly, before we get started, you never want to rapidly cool your pan. So let's say it's like really hot, you were cooking with it over the fire and then you dunk it in a ice cold lake or something. I don't know why you would do that, <laughs> but rapidly cooling your pan leads to thermal shock, which can create warps and even cracks in your cast iron pan. So when you're done cooking, just let it cool naturally and then start the cleaning process. A common question is, can you soak your cast iron pan? The answer is a firm no. So you might have a stainless steel or an aluminum pan at home that you would just soak in your sink if it's really dirty. You do not wanna do that with your cast iron because again, that leads to rust. So without further ado, let's get going because this pan needs to be cleaned so that I can use it. To clean, I have my trusty pot scraper. This is going to be your best tool. This one has two ends. This one is kind of rubbery and then this one is a hard plastic and so I'm definitely going to want to use that harder side. So really get in there and scrape off all of those food bits. So this is going to be the best tool for the job. And then I also have a little sponge that I'll use after I've scraped off all the food. A little bit of camp soap can be used. Uh, I tend to not use soap. Again, you don't really want to use any harsh chemicals, but this is a mild biodegradable camp soap. And you can use a little bit of that if you choose. Most of the time I would say I don't use any soap. If I've cooked something with a really strong flavor, let's say I made salmon in here, <laughs> then I would reach for a little bit of soap just so that I don't have any lingering flavors left in my pan. But for the most part, I don't use soap with my cast iron. I have some seasoning spray, which we'll use at the end. I'll show you that. And then a clean dry towel. So let's begin. So as I mentioned, my first step is going to be just trying to scrape out as much of the food bits as I can and then putting them in my trash. As you can see, this tool is amazing. So there's still quite a bit of food bits stuck on here. So now I'm going to bring some water into the mix. So I just have some clean water. I'm gonna pour that in there, just a little bit. Now at this point, you can add a little bit of that mild camp soap if you want. And you can go back in with the pot scraper if you need to. Or if you've gotten it pretty good on that first pass, then you can go in with the sponge. So I think I'm pretty good. I'm gonna go in with the sponge now. Okay. 
Okay. I have my camp sink and I'm just gonna pour the dirty water in there. So I'm happy with how this looks. But if you need to, you can go back and repeat that same process again, just continuing to get all of the food off of your cast iron pan. If you did use soap, then make sure, of course, you do a rinse with just water to get any of that soap residue off. But since I didn't use soap and this looks pretty clean, I'm happy with this and I'm going to now dry it. Again, you don't wanna be leaving this wet or leaving it out to air dry. So a clean lint-free towel is what I'm gonna use to just get in here and completely dry. I mean, that looks really good. Lastly, before I store it, I'm just gonna use some of this seasoning spray. You could also use a mild oil. Like I use avocado oil sometimes, <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that in there. Get a piece of clean paper towel and just spread that oil around, wiping off any excess oil. Probably sprayed a little too much. <laughs> Make sure you get all the edges. So that is it for how to clean your cast iron pan when you're camping. As you can see, it's really an easy process. Just don't be soaking your pan <laughs> and you'll probably be fine. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, check out some of the other camping videos on my channel. And if you like them, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one.